What's going on, y'all? A quick video here. I'm going to show you how to create presets with drag and drop in Studio One. So I've been using Studio One for over 10 years now, and I still find things out that I didn't know Studio One could do. And I ended up figuring this out on accident. I was in the middle of editing my uh, podcast, the Faders Up podcast, and I dragged a plug in off the track and had the same thought trying to do two things at once at the same time to try to bring in a new plugin, which led me to drag over the plugin to the browser, which created the preset. And I didn't know Studio One could do that. So to show you how that's done. So I've got this compressor up here on this vocal. If you take that compressor or take that plugin and just drag it over to the browser, you see it created a preset here. Now the downside to doing this, although it is a really quick way to create presets, is you cannot drag this up into one of these folders. And you know, even if this folder is open, it's still going to create it outside of it. But you can, however, right click and rename it. So there is that. But this really quick way to create uh, presets in Studio One. Didn't know Studio One could do this. Um, like I said. Figure this out on accident, which <laughs> trying to do two things at once like that is just a sign that I need to go to sleep. Uh, but, you know, let me know. Did you know the Studio One could do this? I think this is a, a quick and easy way to create presets. And, you know, I do prefer it over the, you know, clicking here, store preset, and, you know, filling out all this information. But, of course, you would do this if you want to keep everything, you know, organized in your folders here. So, it's just an alternate way to create uh, presets. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts, and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.